Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Sunday Hour, Crafty Hour with Jess. How's everyone doing? This weekend was so gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. Let's see if there's anyone joining us or if everyone's outside. We'll see. <laughs> okay, so let's just finish up setting up here. That there. We'll open this up here. Hello, hello, Jan. How are you? Okay, let's pull this up. Oh, it's not going to pull up right now. <clears throat> Yay for tech stuff. <laughs> so I had an awesome weekend. I was able to get away to the cottage for a short, short visit. Um, so that was exciting. And I can't wait to get back. <laughs> So, sorry, bear with me while I try to get my computer going here. Hello, what were you up to, Jan, this weekend? Anything? Oh, I think I saw you were camping. That is exciting. Okay, let's see. My computer will cooperate. Maybe. I'm getting closer here. Awesome. Okay, so it's letting me do this. That's good. <laughs> okay, let's turn that on there um Jansa just got home from camping um in time to watch you oh yay that's awesome yay okay so let's see what's going on here i was letting my computer rest <laughs> before using it and now it's all like oh <laughs> okay so let's pull this up here okay It's like done for the weekend it's like okay I did my job done <laughs> okay so we got that there so I'm excited to hang out with everyone today we're gonna be doing some stenciling which is always fun okay so we got this open that up there <clears throat> okay pull this up here sorry guys <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so I might have to take this guy to the Apple store soon, I think. <laughs> it needs some extra love and attention, I think. <laughs> okay, so let's pull this up here so I can see as people come in. I think a lot of people are outside, which I don't blame them. <laughs> it's beautiful today. Okay, so we got that. I want to see all the messages. Let's go. <laughs> so close, you guys. Let's see. Okay, I want to see the messages too. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. So we're, we've got that up, which is great. And we have some new fun things loaded up in the shop, which is always exciting. So we have some new honeybee um, and some new spellbinders, which is so exciting go okay <laughs> computer does anybody else have any computer issues lately <laughs> just me <laughs> it was kind of weird so when I was where I was with the cottage um the like the cell towers the cell isn't so great and the wi-fi isn't great unless you were like right in the center of the cottage um so I didn't like get to like have instant access to my phone all the time which was kind of took a little bit to get used to but actually it was kind of nice because it kind of just let you um kind of live in the moment I guess you could say instead of uh constantly like doing something and then you get a message or you get a ding and you kind of take your attention away from it but where I was there was actually no option for that which is kind of nice sometimes when everyone when everyone that you would need like you know to know, to be on call with is with you it's good not the best when you know you're not with those people <laughs> um awesome so we also have a sale going on this weekend it's called our hot summer savings so when you spend 75 dollars, you can save 10 dollars, and you can use code hss10 and that'll take 10 dollars off um if you're looking for some new crafty things so we have some new honeybee new dilutions and um, spellbinders and tons and tons of foil so if you're looking at um 
adding more foil to your life, definitely check it out in the new arrival section. So let me grab the link there. And then for the promo code, you can also check um, if you just scroll down further on Facebook or on Instagram, you'll see the code if you need it at checkout. So I'll just add the new arrivals there. Perfect. So here's a look at what we did on Wednesday. We made a shaker with um, some tool, which is always exciting and um, so much fun. And then we did a really cute cupcake and we added some glossy accents and added some sequins on top and we did a little bit of foiling. So such a fun day. Um, love, love, love creating with everyone and um, inspiring, hopefully. <laughs> so now we're going to kind of work on what we're going to be doing today. So I kind of let this dry ahead of time because I want to try to be able to use it to finish off the card today. And um, so it had to be dry for that. So we're going to be using some cool new things. So we have, oops, sorry guys, that moved you guys. Uh, we're going to be using the Hero Arts um, abstract um, stencil, abstract frame stencil, which is so cool. And then we're going to be using some Lawn Fawn fairy dust. I was waiting so long to get my hands on this and so excited that I finally have it because it's so pretty. As you can see, I don't know if you can get the full effect on camera, but it's so pretty. Love it. And then we're going to stamp and color this adorable cutie here from Colorado Craft Company. Um, and I'm going to show you also how you can kind of use it as the back of your card, your little um, like signature, if you will. So super excited to create something with you guys. And I think we're gonna start off with the messy stuff first, and then we can um, move on to the less messy things. <laughs> so I have um, an A2 stitched rectangle here with Bristol Smooth cardstock. And let me see if I have my, no, my medium mat handy, and I don't. So I'll just grab some copy paper. We drove home today, so it was kind of nice to get home just after lunch and just kind of mosey on into the craft room and kind of prepped to get ready for everyone. But it was so nice to kind of get away a little bit. So I'm gonna start by kind of flipping it over because we're gonna do some ink blending first. And I'm gonna reach for, do, do, do my inks here. So we're going to be using uh, Spun Sugar, Picked Raspberry, and Wilted Violet, probably my favorite trio of um, oxide inks. And we're going to start with the lightest. So for this one, I actually used um, Kitched Flamingo and then Picked Raspberry, but I didn't love how there wasn't a huge variant between the two colors. So for this one, we're going to start with the lighter one. It's always fun when you get to redo a card and you can kind of switch things up as you need. So I'm just going to start by taking a little bit of the ink and adding it to the bottom here. And I find like when you do blended backgrounds, it's like the easiest kind of way to um, get a really cool result, kind of customize it in a really fun way. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you another way to use the stencil. I'm gonna kind of use it in two ways. Just to get a little bit of a... difference in them. And then we're gonna grab the picked raspberry. Oh, Jen, hello, Jenny. Hi, uh, Jenny says, hi, Jess. Hope you're having a nice Sunday. A couple of minutes late, but glad to be here. Ah, never late. Always, always fashionably on time. <laughs> Jen says, um, I bought the bat card bunny. He's cute. I just wish uh, colored was spent. Yes, in the Canadian way. I know, that's the only. I think I, I kind of got it because I liked how it says I stamped this myself. So that kind of like made it okay for me but I totally get it but there's some cool companies like Heffy Doodle who are in the UK and they spell things the way we spell them so um, they often will have both ways in their stamp sets which is super awesome or you can kind of just reserve it for your American friends <laughs> one time somebody commented I don't know where I posted something and somebody commented and said like I 
that uh, the word color was spelled wrong and I was like mm, no <laughs> not where I'm from <laughs> but now I'm gonna reach for some purple Jenny says, love that background color. Thank you. It's like my favorite color, trio of colors, I think. Um, I'm going to grab a little piece of memo tape here to kind of help me hold it without putting fingerprints on it. Sorry, I'm <laughs> left-handed, you guys. <laughs> But the cool thing is the ink is pretty forgiving. So if you do get like some fingerprints, you can just kind of brush on over it and no one's going to notice. Plus we're going to be reacting the ink and we're going to be um, adding a really cool stencil detail. So we're covered. No one will, no one will know. And then when we're using a stencil called abstract frames, it kind of, you know, it's abstract. So has anybody gotten their hands on the new Tim Holtz color? It has, you guys have made so many orders. It was so, so amazing. Um, I can't wait to get my hands on it, but it seems like everyone is loving it. Let's refresh my computer. So I'm just kind of blending it until I kind of build it up till I get kind of the effect that I like. Oh, computer is run behind here. I think that looks good there. So I'm going to set it aside for a second and we're going to use the stencil in a second way. We're just going to, instead of adding color, we're just going to put the stencil on and then we're just going to um, have more of a white background. Teresa says it's on its way. Yes. It's so exciting. Okay. Let me just, oh my gosh, this computer, you guys. <laughs> Or I don't know if it's the computer or if it's Facebook on my, I'm not sure, but let's see if it'll refresh so that I can see all the comments quicker. Jan says, I'll pick mine up tomorrow. Ooh, that's exciting. Okay. Refresh. Let's go. <laughs> okay. So I have a second piece of, um, Bristol smooth cardstock and I'm just going to take the stencil and kind of put it in place here. And then I'm going to use some washi tape, which I thought I put here. Oh, no, I bought some painter's tape, actually. Or masking tape, not painter's tape. Can you tell I'm thinking about painting? It's on my mind. And now we have the, we're in the process of finalizing colors. So that's fun. <laughs> okay, so let's try this again. Okay, cancel. Open it up again. <laughs> See what's going on here. If not, I have, I'll have to go and run and get my iPad. Go. So we have that taped down. And then the same thing, I'm just going to reach for sponge sugar. Here, if you're just joining us, hello, hello. We're creating a really fun card featuring the um, Hero Arts abstract frame stencil and some um, Anita Jerem cuteness here. as I just slammed the, the ink down, <laughs> the, the stamp set down. Okay, so we're gonna grab some sponge sugar, move this out of the way, and just add it to the bottom. So this will give you a fun, like, white detail of the, the frames. And then the one we're doing, we're gonna have just the the paste is going to kind of be the star of the show. 
And then we're gonna grab some picked raspberry again. Melissa says, hello everyone, just, hello everyone from the East Coast, just moved to a new rental this weekend again. Oh my goodness, Melissa. Hello, hello. I love seeing your adventures on Facebook. It's like you're living my dream of moving out east. <laughs> on my it's on my list I have a lot of friends um, in the area who have relocated out there so I'm convincing the hubby <laughs> that we need to make the move see if I'm successful <laughs> and then I'm gonna grab some wilted violet So I love adding layers to the stencil and just kind of like customizing it. It's so relaxing and it's just always get a good result no matter no matter what, you're guaranteed a good result. All you have to do is just make sure that your colors blend well together and you don't get like that dreaded muddy look. But other than that, you know, you're pretty pretty safe. So I'm just going to lift it up here like that and you get a completely different result which is so cool. So this is the one that we're going to kind of create I think. Now I don't know if we should just add some paste to this one here. What do you guys think? Should we add paste to this one? And we will get this result or add paste to this one here. And then we can decide. Let's see if anybody has a preference. <clears throat> and hopefully I have wipes somewhere. Oh, I think we'll make it work with some mist. I'm just going to clean this stencil off to see if anybody has a preference. Both, lol. <laughs> Melissa says, can't watch a lot of lives. My internet has not been good. Oh no, I, I totally feel that. Um, <clears throat> this weekend when we were away in cottage country, I, you know, took for granted um, just having like service. Like just, I was on, I think like 3G. I wasn't getting messages, but it kind of worked out sort of this time. I was able to kind of just literally like unplug from everything which was fun kind of take it all in and then when I was eight when I came back in the actual like place that we were we had Wi-Fi but only in certain parts <laughs> so it was nice at bedtime I was able to you know wind down with the podcast I'm just cleaning the stencil so we can um, add some paste and of course I don't have wipes handy, so we're just using mist in a paper towel, you know, just, you know, getting it done, <laughs> making it happen. So I think I'll leave, I'll, we'll just add the paste to this one um, because we have this result already, so we can kind of die cut it down if we need to. Uh, Jenny says, keep the white frame. I like the contrast. Uh, Melissa says, once we move in, we'll have Starling, so it'll be great. Yes. Yes, they, um, where we were, they just bell, just put bell five in or something. So it's, the Wi-Fi was okay. It was just, when we're walking um, about, walking around town, we didn't have the best. Okay, I'll just take this off. Take this off, because I feel like I can just picture the ink <laughs> making its way somewhere. Okay, so all that to put this back on. <laughs> hopefully in the right spot. Uh oh, this is going to be the tricky part. Maybe. Yeah. I'm kind of looking for some landmarks. Here we go. 
No. <laughs> close, close. We're getting close. Maybe we are doing it on the other one. <laughs> oh, we have a circle here. I think maybe this is... Oh, did it not make it on? <laughs> the, one, the one thing that could have helped us here didn't make it on. Oh, we found it. We're good. We are good. But that's a good tip. The little circle here kind of lets you know where to put it back in case you wanted to double layer things. Jan says, Wi-Fi at the Karen Brand was perfect. I got to watch our friend Kathy live on Friday. Yay, that's awesome. It was like, because we arrived on like Friday night, like later on. So that was, it was just like, you know, getting the Wi-Fi password and then like not even showing up on the options and then not getting messages, but it was nice. We were like roasting marshmallows by the campfire at nighttime. And then we went to downtown and they had, you know, a cute little ice cream shop and cute little like little shops to walk through. So much fun. So I'm kind of setting this up and I'm showing you, but for the card that we're going to create, we're going to use this one because it's already dried. And then I'll have two options, which is always good. So we have our paste here and I have my little palette here. And then we're just going to just going to put some at the top here. I'm gonna try to like get like basically what I kind of oh, that's too much, kind of just what I need. Um, and I don't want to like go back and forth too much because the oxide is gonna kind of react to the paste. So I don't want to have to keep going like back and forth so much. But we will try to just take what we kind of need because I won't be able to kind of save the excess and put it back because it's going to be kind of pink or purple. Which is fine usually. Oh, and we have some here. Perfect. <laughs> I'm going to take that so pretty you guys I love it I can't wait to use this for some Christmas cards which hint hint <laughs> oh I thought my board was coming down just now <laughs> I was like oh that'll be a first <laughs> okay so we're just adding the layers here just making sure we get all the spots here I am in love with this. It is so pretty. Sparkles, yes, please. Oh, no, see, that's why. I want to put it back, but it's pink now, so we're not going to put it back. Just in case we don't want pink later on. So all of these goodies are all in the shop if you're interested. And then now for the reveal, I'm just going to take away the tape here. I love it when you get crafty and make a mess. So then I'm just going to lift it up. He, it's so pretty. And I'm going to put this aside. And then as soon as I'm done here, I'm going to add it into my soapy water. Which I should have brought in here, but I just had this feeling of like, hmm want it to fall over and <laughs> make more of a big mess so I'll kind of lift this up here and then I'm going to set it aside to dry isn't that so pretty love it Lisa hello Lisa came in late oh as I say always fashionably on time so actually I just noticed there's a little bit of an excess here I'm just going to take it away um but one thing you can kind of if you don't like the edges, I'm going to actually die cut this down into a smaller piece. So the edges um, don't matter that much because we, nobody will see them. Okay, let me get some mist to clean my hands a little bit. Actually, this is a pretty good method here. <laughs> Grab some paper towel. and then take this away here. So we have our backgrounds all 
ready to go. And what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to run this through my dye paint machine. And we're going to need another rectangle. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, actually, and we don't, we have a card base. We're good. So I'm gonna grab, I think I want this one here. Give it a nice frame on the card front. And then I hope it's dried enough. I'm just gonna double, yeah. It's been like about an hour and a half, so I think it should be good. And then I'm just going to make sure it's as straight. And then we're just gonna run it through the Gemini. Make sure it's lined up before you run it through. Don't mind the Gemini. Put my little background safe over there. <laughs> The last thing you want is as it's drying something happens to it ah. <laughs> let me know with little with little hearts if that's ever happened to you before where you've made a beautiful background and then something happened to it <laughs> okay so we've got our background here we're going to kind of put it together this is going to be our card base so we're just gonna do it like that. Looks good to me. And now we can start working on our cute bunny. So I'm gonna reach for my Misty and I have some ultra smooth cardstock here, which is alcohol marker friendly. And we're gonna stamp this cutie with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And before I do that, I haven't used this before, so we are going to treat it with my anti-static, oh, not my anti-static powder tool, um, my little stamp, I guess, erase. It's not a stamp eraser. It's just kind of treats your stamps, just removes any residue that might still be on there from the manufacturing process. And then I'm gonna grab my Memento that and close it over there grab my stamp tabulus which is so pretty <laughs> and then ink it up again and then close it oh no it's shifted ah, okay Let's do this again. See, it's because I didn't have the magnet all the way on. That's why. <laughs> That's okay. We've got a space for another one. Try this again. And one more time. Oh, this bunny is so cute. He looks like his little face. He's so like, he reminds me of like my son when my son is creating something. The concentration. It's so cute. He's like, gonna do a good job. Leave that little bunny in there for now. And then we'll color him in. <clears throat> Lisa says, oh man, love your stamp tabulous. Where did you get it? Ooh, it's in the shop at the in the scrap and stamp shop. Let me see if I can grab uh, the link for it while we wait for. Oh no! Now the computer wants to work. <laughs> stamp tab. Yes. Let's see if I can spell correctly. <laughs> Let's see, I think it's in the new arrival still. Let's see, yes. Here is the link here. 
and it's cool because um, we have like options for shipping. You can like uh, start start a box. So like if you um, know that there's some things that are coming out later that you want to grab and you want to secure particular items like in real time, you can add it to your cart and it'll be kind of put aside until you get to the shipping minimum and then we'll send it out once you get there, which is awesome. Okay, so we're gonna reach for some markers. So I'm just gonna make this bunny, he's gonna be a white bunny and a little cottontail, just to make it a little bit easy. So I'm just kind of adding I, the um, C1 in kind of the shaded areas. And Anita Jerem images are really good because they kind of really let you know with the little lines here, like where the shadowing would be. So you don't have to worry too much about <clears throat> about worrying about where the shading needs to be done. And then I'm gonna grab some coral. Lisa says, thank you. Oh, no problem. It's so pretty and it's so handy to have. And then we're just gonna add some blush and some detail to the ears. And then the little stamp set comes with co a coordinating die. So we're just going to run that through the Gemini and I'm gonna use my um, heavy memo tape to hold it in place. Just line it up. And then use the memo tape to hold it. And then just run it through. Oh, my mat is getting, it's well loved now. <laughs> I have another one, but now I'm like, oh, I want it to stay pretty. <laughs> it's so hard when you want, when you want your crafty things to stay perfect, but then it means you aren't getting crafty. <laughs> so that's so cute. So the die kind of makes it perfect. And so we got our, let's see how we're going to kind of put this together here like that and then we're going to use um, I'm just gonna add like a little hello um, I think, believe this is happy doodle I'm just going to run it through my Gemini with some black cardstock oh there's scissors I got worried there for a second I'm like what am I little hands come in here and borrow things <laughs> little hands and little paws <laughs> But the ones with the paws, they don't tend to return it. Or, and I never see it again. <laughs> the little hands, if I look hard enough, I'll probably find it somewhere. <laughs> oh, I'm running out of... Oh. But I always like to have extras close by. <laughs> I can't live without the memo tape. run that through my Gemini. I think I'm going to do two just because I like to layer it out. One there. There we go. And we will run it one more time. Just reuse the memo tape. This would be cute if you wanted to send like a little crafty hello to someone. Go. And we will just grab the little pokey tool here. Take out the extra little pieces and then we're just going to glue them together just for a little bit of dimension. 
grab some glue. That. And just carefully, actually I shouldn't do it on there. <laughs> I'm like, that looks really good to show you, but I also don't want to get any glue on our card base. Just around just a little bit like that. put that aside and then we'll just add the little hello on top And now we can start assembling everything together. So I'm just going to actually score the line now. So I'm just going to put it in place and there's a nice little A2 where it tells you, because math, not generally my thing. I like when it just tells you where to go. And then we'll just make it nice and even. Got our card base here. And before we kind of decorate the front, I just wanted to add the little bunny to the back just to kind of show you how the original idea of the stamp set, but you can use it for your card front as well. I love the little mini sets. They're so fun. They're so affordable and um, you can kind of do so many things with them. You can kind of mix and match items from your collection that you already have. So we're just going to stamp him. He's so cute. And then I just count them. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. That's uh, <clears throat> what I call like, you know, when it's handmade, it's it's even. It's even enough. <laughs> and then we're just going to use some memento. I uh, we're not going to color him, so actually, we're going to just use Versafine. Um, the only reason why I don't want to color him is because I don't want it to go through the card base. So um, you could definitely color him if you want, or you can use the just use the coordinating die to add him to the back of the card. But we're just kind of just doing a little, little bit sort of like a little signature, and then I'm going to put I stamp this myself. and it kind of fits perfectly. Or we could have, if we didn't add our fun glitter, we could have added it to the front, but that's okay. <laughs> so many endless options when you're creating. Looks good there. Whoop. Did you guys see that in like live action here? <laughs> This is just every day for me, <laughs> but I'm glad I noticed it before I made a mess. <laughs> and we're just going to clean that up. <laughs> okay, take this away, then ink up again. It's so cute, you guys. So when I'm done, I'll add in all the little like um, product links afterwards. 
hee hee, so cute. And I wonder if I used, I don't want it to come through. So I won't tempt, I won't tempt the crafty gods today. I'll save that for another day. <laughs> but you could add, or maybe I, oh no, I didn't even use the right ink, but you could, what I could do is use the really light coral just, and then so it's not touching the ink. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna do anything with the ink. We're not gonna spread the ink and it gives that little bit of color. So we have the background, the back of the card there and the front of the card here. So we can glue this down. I think we're gonna reach for my tape runner. Oh no, I think we're gonna use the wet glue because it's kind of curved a little bit. So I don't think the tape runner is gonna do the job for this. So we're going to Make sure it's not, it doesn't get smudged. Just because the first to find, remember, it doesn't dry as quickly. And just put that in place. Looks pretty straight to me, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching the live, I'm watching it live to make sure. So I'm just giving it a little bit of pressure. Our bunny's still safe, which is awesome. And let's see how we want to do this. How we want to add the little, you know. Kind of like how that's hugging each other together. And just adding some. I think that's cute like that. I'm gonna get some 3D foam tape for the little bunny. enough. I'm going to just trim this. Then add some just over here. Like that. You can add him there. He <laughs> he's so cute, you guys. See how it kind of like perfectly kind of fits there. Love it. Then we'll add some glue to our hello. Put it in place. There we go. And I wish I had my tweezers, uh, but I don't. And I almost had a catastrophe there, but <laughs> we, 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 we got out unscathed. So we're just going to add the hello. I mean, if you don't have any close calls, are you even crafty? <laughs> there we go. Got our little hello there, and now we're gonna add some sequins. Let's see what we have in our party mix here. Oh, token cat hair. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. Oh, we got a purple one, that works. And let's see if we got a pink one in our little party mix here. I think we do. 
a little pink. Yeah. Perfect. I like how it always just goes together perfectly. And we're just going to clear all these away. <laughs> Teresa says definitely a close call every time I craft, right? It's I think it's I crave it. I really do. <laughs> It happens too often to be a coincidence, truly. <laughs> Let's see how we want to arrange these. Maybe not the pink one. And oh. of course they all want to stick to my nail polish. Maybe this one's too big. See, it's just kind of play around until until it feels right. Maybe the pink one can go over here. Yeah, I think I like that, like that, and we'll just add them in place. very another close call okay go there I think when I, I have to do some crafting tomorrow and I think tomorrow is when it's I'm gonna pay for these for this good grace today <laughs> okay there we go add there there we go love it it's so cute so here's our little card that we created today using the fun abstract hero arts abstract frame and i'm gonna definitely keep this aside and use this one so this is the one um when you just you you kind of put the stencil down first and then you add the oxides and then you add the really cool lawn fawn fairy paste so cute and then the one that we did earlier is just the ink blend background and then we reacted the water and then we added the stencil background the paste Lisa says very cute love it oh thank you so cute and then of course how the stamp is intended you can um, add it to the back of your card which is so cute so you guys thank you so much for joining in and hanging out i had so much fun with everyone Teresa says beautiful card jess oh thank you um if you ever have any questions or comments definitely send a direct message or add a comment i try to read through all of them and answer all of them um and if you like this live hit the little live the little like button um, and if you're not already following us we're on now uh, you can follow us on Facebook um, and you can subscribe to us on YouTube and you can follow us on Instagram so that way you won't miss out on any of our fun sales and fun events that we have up our sleeves coming up very soon Jenny says yes it's very nice oh thank you guys so I hope you guys squeeze out every last beautiful moment of your weekend um, and you have a great week and I'll see everybody back here on Wednesday bye everyone